Hi guys, my name is Sabine and welcome to another video. Today I want to show you guys all the books that I bought until so far in 2019. up all the books that I bought or have gotten this year in 2019 and I have to say I was really surprised and in a good way. Last year I kind of wanted to restrict my book buying habits and I failed completely. I think that in May 2018 I bought like maybe 20-30 books already. This year until so far I have received bought 10 books which is a decent number and I think it, I'm doing, I'm going really well. The main reason why I'm so happy about this low number of books that I've gotten this year is because I don't have a job so I don't really have the money. Plus I also read quite slowly. If I buy like 40 books a year I probably only read five of them because I have so many other books on my TBR as well. Let's just dive into the book haul and the first book that I got this year is The Wicked King by Holly Black. This is the sequel to The Cruel Prince so I'm not going to tell you guys anything about about this plot because it's like a spoiler for the first book. This one came out in January and I've already read it. Oh my god, doing such a good job. I really, really enjoyed this sequel. I think the majority of people who are reading this series think that this is better than The Cruel Prince, but I think I preferred kind of the vibes and the atmosphere in The Cruel Prince just a teeny tiny bit better. I think that this series especially is really good if you are a beginner to fantasy because the world isn't super complicated. The characters are mainly driving the plot. I'm really happy that I got the hardcover. It's just a really pretty cover. Next up, I pre-ordered this book. This one is A Girl Called Shameless by Laura Stephen. This is the sequel to The Exact Opposite of Okay, which is, I think, my favorite book of all time. I don't really laugh out loud a lot with books, like, at all. But with The Exact Opposite of Okay, I laughed the whole time. Laura Stephen is so funny, and I think that if I would spend a whole day with her, I would just cry and pee myself like <laughs> I cannot really tell you what this one is about, but the exact opposite of okay is all about Izzy who has hooked up with two guys on one night. Someone has taken pictures of her doing things with one of those two boys and has leaked it on the internet and this whole shitload of comments and whatever drama comes to Izzy and it's all about like feminism, slut shaming, and it's just such a good book, especially with all of the humor. It's like, it packs a punch but does it the right way. And the same is for A Girl Called Shameless. I didn't enjoy it as much as the exact opposite of okay, but it was super close. So I still gave this one a four and a half out of five stars. I just, oh, I love it. I love it. Go read these two books. They're my absolute favorite. Then I bought a secondhand book. This one is A Geekerella by Ashley Poston. Poston? Poston? Don't know how to pronounce her name. It's a contemporary, which has to do with like fangirling world and conventions and meeting your idol. I've just heard that it's really cute and I think it would be a right up my alley. And in that same order I also bought City of Ghosts by Victoria Schwab. Victoria Schwab is her like name when she writes YA books and V.E. Schwab is her name when she writes I think new adult adult books. I just really want to read all of Victoria Schwab's books. I think I have read two until so far, both in different series, but I haven't continued on with those. I don't really know what it's about besides the title. I feel like this will be a super quick read because the font is so small and the book is also quite tiny. So another good deal that I found was Obsidio, the third book in the Illuminae Files by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. Like with many series, I've read the first book, uh, which is called Illuminae. I have the second book and I saw this hardcover book for nine euros on Amazon. I'm gonna start a new series on my channel. Okay, kind of spoiler alert, but not really. I'm gonna make a couple of series where I read a book series, a book duology for the first time ever and just vlogging it, trying to um, document my first reactions and how I feel about it. So if you have any series duologies that you want to see me read and want to hear my thoughts on, leave them in the comments down below. I have um, a lot of book series already that I have planned to read in the future and the Illuminae Files are one of them and I think that these would be perfect to do like a reading vlog, read-a-thon kind of thing for because they are very big 
but it's written in such a different kind of style and it's sci-fi which I love even though I haven't read much of those so I should do that. I'm just really excited to get on with this series. I think I'm gonna reread Illuminae and then continue on with Gemina and Obsidio. I just have heard nothing but amazing things about this trilogy. Next up I bought The Vanishing Stair by Maureen Johnson which is the sequel to Truly Devious, the first book in the Truly Devious trilogy. The third book is coming out in January and I cannot freaking wait. Oh my god. I think that Truly Devious and The Vanishing Stare are two of my favorite books that I've read this year until so far. I never expected to ever say that because I always think that I don't like murder mysteries in book form, which is totally not true because I have never read murder mystery before this book. So this assumption makes no sense. I was so pleasantly surprised by this book. This book is all about a border school which was set up in 1936 by Albert Elliam and back then his wife and his daughter were kidnapped. His wife was found dead but his daughter has never been found. We also follow a second story which is in the now and we follow Stevie our main character and she has been accepted to Ellingham Academy and she's gonna attend the school to um, kind of become a detective. She is super obsessed with Albert Ellingham's wife and daughter disappearance slash murder and she wants to find out who did it. Back then Truly Devious left behind a really mysterious letter but in the now a murder also happens. One of the students get killed and Truly Devious has to return. Starting series is quite easy for me but finishing them is a little harder so for me wanting to buy and immediately read the second book in a trilogy is a really good sign. Then on April 14th I turned 20 Yes, I'm 20 now. It's still kind of weird, but not really. It's just strange that I'm not in my teens anymore. For my birthday, I got one book <laughs> and that one was from Joni. Oh my God, Joni is such a nice friend of mine. And she gave me Words in Deep Blue by Kath Crowley. Crowley, I think is how you pronounce her name. I have seen this cover many times on booktube. I haven't really heard a lot of people talk about it. Joni adored it. <laughs> That's why she sent it to me. Um, she wanted me to read a book that she loved as well. It's kind of about grief and dealing with that. That's all that I know. She said it was amazing. I'm gonna trust her on that and thank you so much Joni for giving this to me for my birthday. It means a lot. And the last book that I received today is Daisy Jones and the Six by Taylor Jenkins Reid. I think is how you pronounce her name. Sometimes these authors have difficult names. I've heard two of my booktube friends, Leora from Mind Daisies and Brit from Basically Brit, fangirl about this book so incredibly much. It's basically about a band in the 1970s, 60s, I believe, who broke up and we follow these people in like interview style kind of thing. I was um, kind of hesitant first to pick it up, but because of their enthusiasm, they made me want to give it a try. And maybe future Sabine will look back at this video and be like, bitch, this shit is good. <laughs> it was kind of cheap on book depository, like 12 euros for this gorgeous hardcover. I mean, it looks really pretty. The inside has uh, tickets of Daisy Jones and the Six. So I feel like I'm gonna get to this in the next couple of months because the hype is real for this book. Then I also bought The Poet X by Elizabeth Acevedo. I have since read this book, loved it, and I gave it to Leora from My Daisies as well, kind of for her birthday, but I just wanted to pass it on, give it to someone else after I finished it to kind of share the love for this book. Then the last book that I've gotten is At My Boyfriend's House. I don't have it right here, but it is Wolf by Wolf by I think Ryan Goutling or... I don't remember his last name, but this is basically a kind of historical fiction, I would say, where Hitler won World War II and in his like different world. I, oh, I'm so glad that that didn't happen, but we follow our main character and her mission is to win this kind of motor race thing that Hitler sets up every single year, win it and kill Hitler. Um, it sounded really interesting. My boyfriend bought it because he thought the premise was really cool, but he wants for me to read it first so that um, he knows if it's good or not and that he won't waste his time. I'm really excited to read this one. I've been interested in this duology for a really long time. So I think it's awesome that he bought it and kind of wants to read it. I'm like influencing him in a good way. Those were the 10 books that I've bought, received, uh, gotten in 2019 until 
until so far. Let me know in the comments down below if you've read any of the books that I showed to you guys today and maybe you want me to read some of them like super quickly that I just, oh, I need to get to it. Let me know in the comments down below. You guys can follow me on all of my different social media pages. I have Goodreads, I have Snapchat, Instagram, plus an email address and links to those are in the description bar down below. And thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!